What we're looking at is the Pritzker Nanofabrication Facility, which you might think of as a modern machine shop of the new millennium. Ways to make devices and technologies at the submicron scale all the way down to handfuls of atoms. And you need structures of this size to explore areas ranging from quantum physics to nanoelectronics to biosensing and new imaging technologies. I am doing my PhD with David Ashlam in the Institute for Molecular Engineering, and we study quantum engineering with spintronics. It's not everybody who gets to come in here and engineer new working devices, and so it feels really special to get that opportunity, but also to love doing that at the same time. One aspect of this clean room is that we have a suite of state-of-the-art tools that can be used for a wide variety of different applications. They can be used to develop devices related to physics, devices related to chemistry, devices related to medicine, and devices related to biology. And this great flexibility makes this clean room attractive to a wide range of different users. I think there's a very strong possibility that the Pritzker Nanofabrication Facility will help the city attract and retain industry. We've made a major investment in a suite of equipment that many small companies or even large companies can't invest in, and they can come here. They can use our facilities to make new devices and try out new products, and so I think this will be a serious asset. We actually have more capacity to continue to add new tools to the Pritzker Nanofabrication Facility, so there is more to come in the future.